This is Senator Pat Roberts. I voted against the Reed health care bill because it will raise taxes and a struggling economy, cut Medicare by a half a billion dollars, and do nothing to reduce the costs of health care for hardworking Americans. And finally, it will not ensure that all those in need will have access to care. This bill was written behind closed doors, chock full of backroom deals that favor certain states over others in a blatant effort to buy votes with taxpayer dollars. All to pass legislation a majority of Kansans fear will threaten the quality and cost of their health care. Worse, the bill uses budget gimmicks, taxing us now while promising huge benefits. Well, there's a catch, folks. Those benefits won't kick in for four years, but the taxes, the fees, and the fines start when the president signs the bill. Now the Senate must merge this bill with, in my view, an even worse House bill. And again, the bill will disappear behind closed doors, a shameful process that makes a mockery of open and representative government. I said before this bill was like an old socialized medicine pickup with a lot of barbed wire wrapped around the axle. Well, now the majority wants to sell it to the American people like a shiny new F-150. That's not going to sell, folks. There will be a lot of serious problems that are going to endanger the health care we have in Kansas. I am particularly interested with the cost, problems with access to care, rationing of care, and, oh, don't forget, enforcement by the Internal Revenue Service. Now, we will have a lot of work to do to prevent and fix the damages that could endanger our health care. To do that, we need to get back to bipartisan cooperation, step by step. I need your advice and help to get that job done.